overflows. Life is always in the wild. But you would like to remain in mother's womb. It is comfortable, but it is not life. Life is always in the wild. They are outside. The English word ecstasy is very significant and means to stand out. Ecstasy means to get out of all shells, all protections, all egos, all comforts, and all death-like walls. To be ecstatic means to be out, to be free, to be moving, to be a process, and to be vulnerable that winds can come and pass through you. We have an expression, sometimes we say, that experience was outstanding. That, ecstasy, that exactly is the meaning of the word ecstasy, outstanding. When a seed breaks and the light behind, light hidden behind starts manifesting, when a child is born and leaves the womb behind, all comforts and all the conveniences behind moves into the unknown world. It is ecstasy. When a, <coughs> when a bird breaks the egg and flies into the sky, it is ecstasy. The ego is the egg and if you have to come out of it, Ego is the egg and you will have to come out of it one day. Be ecstatic, get out of all protections and shells and securities. Then you will be able to attain the wider world, the vast, the infinite. Only then you live and you live abundantly, but fear cripples you, the child before he gets out of the womb must also be hesitating about whether to get out of the womb or not. It must take one step forward and another step back. Maybe that is why the mother goes through so much pain. The child is hesitating to be born and the child is not yet totally ready to be ecstatic. The past pulls it back and future calls it forth. The child is divided between the two and hence the pain of childbirth. This is the wall of indecision, of clinging with the past or clinging with ego and you carry it everywhere, wherever you go. Sometimes in rare moments when you are very alive and alert, you will be able to see it. Otherwise, although it is a very transparent world, transparent wall, you will not be able to see this transparency. One can live his whole life, not one life, instead many even without being aware that one is living within a cell, closed from everywhere, all sides, and windowless. This is what Labneez used to call Monat. And he is a mathematician, and we have Labneez theorem. No windows, no doors, just 
closed inside, but it is transparent, a glass wall. You are exactly facing the wall. Instead, you are carrying the wall in front of your eyes. When your eyes have clarity, then and only then you can see it. However, when your eyes are dull and you are unconscious, you cannot see it. This ego has to be dropped. One has to gather courage and shatter it on the floor. People go on feeding it in million ways, not knowing what they feed their own hell. To the very end, they go on playing games continuously. The ego does not allow you to be true. On the contrary, it goes on forcing you to be false living within narrow boundaries. The ego is the lie that one has to decide. It needs great courage because with it we shatter all that you have been nursing up to now. It will shatter your whole past that you have lived up to now. With it, you will shatter completely. Somebody will be there, but you will not be that person again. A discontinuity has begun. A discontinuous entity will arise within you fresh, uncorrupted by the past, then there will be no wall, then wherever you will be, you will see the infinite without any boundaries. Uh, all your formalities are nothing but helping each other's ego as lies. I repeat, all your formalities, all that you do in various names are nothing but helping each other's ego and these are lies. You say something to somebody and he returns the compliment. You say something to someone and he returns a compliment. Neither you nor he is true. We go on playing the game in the name of etiquette, formalities, etc. The civilized faces and mask. We go on playing the game of etiquette, formalities, the civilized faces and masks, then you will have to face the wall. And by and by, the wall will become so thick that you will not be able to see anything beyond this and through this. The wall will go on getting thicker day by day. Therefore, do not wait. If you come to feel that you are carrying a wall around you, a transparent wall around you, drop it. Jump out of it and take a decision to jump out of it and nothing else. Then from tomorrow, do not feed it, do not nourish it, do not nurture it. Then whenever you see that you are again nursing it, 
stop. Within a few days, you will see it has died because it needs your constant support and breastfeeding. This is the way one day the young bird breaks the outer shell of the egg and the mother pushes it out, throws it out of the nest and then it begins to flap its wings and learns to fly in the sky. And for the first time then it knows the joy of flying high in the sky. It needs courage. It needs a firm determination on your part. By nature we want to live a life of protection, security. But the real life is when you are in the open, ready to face any challenge that comes in and live through it. Enough for now.